Do you really want a washer and dryer in your RV? Find out next. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you might live amazing or you might not live amazing if you put a washer and dryer in your camper. Yeah, we were convinced that we didn't want one. They were too expensive. They would never get our money back for the investment. You know, we've been on the road for two and a half years as full-time RVers. And we did the math and it was costing us, what, $20, $25 a month at the most to go to laundromats? Yeah, yeah, usually it's around 20. If you do the math on that and the amount, the cost to put a washer dryer in your RV, it just never pencils out. But two months ago, we actually did get a washer dryer. So let's go to the pros and cons of the in the camper washer dryer. Talk about what we have. We have a Splendid 2200 combo. Let us know in the comments how to pronounce this. Splendide, Splendid. It's uh, one box. It's not a stacked unit. We were actually going to get a stacked set. Um, that's what we walked into the dealer that did the repair on our rig and they had one in their service write-up area. So we actually said, okay, we'll take it. And then we went back and started kind of looking at the space and, and our rig is set up for it. We can put a stack unit in there, but we were going to get rid of a closet that, that we absolutely need. And that's what we found out. So if you are living in your camper now and you're thinking of adding a washer and dryer before you put any money down, do what we did, take everything out of the space that it would take and try living without that space yeah for us it was our winter coats and we had we could not find a convenient place for our winter coats raincoats windbreakers right so that's why we thought well let's do a happy medium and we'll do the combo yeah we actually started researching it because we had heard a lot of negative things about the combo units you know they don't dry the clothes and they they shake the rig which is true we found out that if we use if we get a vented unit it it works fine. And we had so many comments when we posted on the Facebook group to our camper. We have a, a Grand Design 310 GK and we, we posted on that asking people mm -hmm. and there, it was just a, a landslide of people that love it. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so let's talk about, we, let's go ahead and do the cons first then. So the cons are space. You're going right. to lose you're, space. You're giving up a, a, a pretty big space. I mean, the, even the combo unit is a big box. You're adding weight. You're adding probably, I'm, I don't know exactly, but I'm guessing 50 or 60 pounds. I mean, I can, I can lift it in and out of the space um, by myself, so I know it's not 100 pounds. We have done it without a sewer hookup. In fact, we've done it without water or a sewer hookup. Right, so this is the other downside of having a washer in, in your the rig. rig. It uses about as best we can tell, about 10 gallons per load. Maybe even as high as 13. Yeah, yeah it might be, yeah. I mean, you've got to consider that if you're gonna do it boondocking, you, you, you have to consider how much water you're taking out of your fresh tank and putting into your, into your gray tank. You know, we have 90 something gallons of fresh water. So, I mean, we can do that and still shower and, and, and still go a few days. I mean, we don't boondock a lot. We're not big boondockers. So the best case is if you, have unlimited water coming in yep. and you have a sewer hookup so you have unlimited water going out. Yep. The second best case would be unlimited water coming in and not having the sewer hookup, but you're, you're putting it in your gray tanks because right. at 13 gallons, hopefully you, you can allow room for that. Yeah. And then the most difficult, of course, would be boondocking. We also carry a tote, a 27 gallon tote, and I have a macerator pump to pump the water from the, you know, from the outlet to the tote in the back of the truck. I can drive it as far away as I need to, to, to find a dump station. We'll put a link to the video that gives you all the details about that. And then the other con is price. And how much did it cost? I think installed, we paid 2,300. You can find them cheaper. We looked around and we actually found a unit under $1,000. It was an older model. Some good friends of ours, Harley and Ramona. Hey guys. They found one on Craigslist and it's a Splendid 2100 vented unit and they paid 500 bucks for it. And Harley did the install himself. And in retrospect, I could have done the install myself, but I had never done one and I just didn't want it. You have to drill through the side of the camper for the vent. That part was kind of scary for me. 
Right. And then at the time, the camper was already in the shop getting repaired. So we're like, let's just let them do it. And that actually is why we decided to get the washer and dryer. We really had no conversation. If you don't know, Paul and I had an accident with our rig. And when we brought it into the dealer, there was no discussion as far as washer dryer. We saw one, we looked at each other and nodded and we're like, okay. So it was kind of our little gift to ourselves because we had been through a stressful time. But let's talk about the pros because do we regret getting the washer and dryer? No, <laughs> oh not, even a, not even a little bit. No, it is really awesome. There are so many pros. We were surprised at all the pluses. So let's just go through them. The main thing for, for me, and I think for you too, is that the clothes, we have not had cleaner clothes since we went on the road. The washing machine just works better than any laundromat washing machine we have found. The other thing is I have some delicate clothes and you know some lighter blouses and you know bras and that kind of thing that in the laundromat, I didn't want to pay that money to have them go around in a load because we wanted to fill the washers in the laundromats. Right. So my clothes were getting beat up. So now I can wash you know, my running clothes, that kind of thing, my lightweight stuff and not have, yeah. you know, I just love that. Now the loads do take, uh, on average, I'd say two hours. But who cares? We're at home. Yeah, you're there anyway. You know, you just start a load and, and uh, you know when it's done because the rig stops shaking. It's wonderful to always have clean clothes. I think that's another plus. We're not having this sort of looming bag that gets bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we actually use the, the, the washing machine as our, as our laundry basket. And when it gets full, we do a load. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a special load, like you were saying. My delicates. Your delicates. Now, if you are a family with kids and you're doing a lot more laundry than two people, then that definitely sways more in the side of getting a washer dryer in your rig. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or if you're somebody, now there are people that even if they're out camping, they need to shower every day. You know, perhaps they run or they exercise or they're just sweaty people. If you're showering every day, you're probably going to use a lot more clothes and do a lot more laundry. So that's another, you know, box in that favor. So what else should we say? I mean, we're super happy that we don't have to go to a laundromat. You know, we know that if we, if we are boondocking, or something and we need to, we're fine with it. We're just glad that, you know, we now have this. I'm, I wouldn't say ecstatic about it, but, <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm very pleased that we, that we now have the washer dryer combo. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I feel like thrilled is, is yeah, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled that we have a washer dryer because it is, it is just nice to know that I can take better care of my clothes. As soon as they get dirty, I can wash them and I can wear them again right away. Right. The convenience factor is is huge. It really is. It's yeah to be able to do laundry and at, at any time you want, pretty much, and and not be dependent on a laundromat is a is a big deal. And I want to make it clear: if you do go to a laundromat, we have been doing this for two and a half years almost. It is bearable. Yeah. I don't want it to seem like this is horrible to go yeah. to the laundromat. So two big thumbs up, right? Two, <laughs> four big thumbs up. Let us know in the comments what you feel about washer dryer in the rig and we'll see you in the next video with, with clean clothes. <laughs> <laughs>